Hey everyone. So look, I just want to talk you through a, an app that I'm trying to build at the moment. So as you know, I'm on, on this like brand new um, mission to uh, become an application developer. And, that, and that's what a lot of our content and enterprise DNA is going to be going forward. There, there is just opportunities galore. There is like a blue ocean of opportunities if you've heard that term before. Um, and so what I want to show you is, is one project that I'm working on. I'm working on a number and we are all working as a team, um, building a whole, whole lot of projects. But one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to see if I could create a, an application that automated a lot of your VBA coding. I, I historically, like I was very much into VBA before Power BI. And, um, I just thought these models are so good at VBA now. Imagine just being able to write what you want and then just having all of this code generated for you. I mean, the reality is, is that you can already do this in, in ChatGPT or some of the, these latest models that are, that are coming out. I mean, you could do it manually, right? But what if you could have an app which organized everything for you, did a lot more than just one query, it did multiple queries at one time. What if you could just, just literally automate everything around uh, VBA coding? And and that's what uh, that's what I've been building. So I have been um, using a tool called Lovable to build this. It's an incredible tool for prototyping. Really good for prototyping. It does a lot of great things. So I just want to show you. I'll show you sort of like what this does and uh, right now. And you'll see that there's there's a long way to go. But you'll see that you know it's pretty impressive. Like already, I have probably spent two days on this uh, so far. And I you know that's not full days. That's just when when I have time. So. The flow at the moment, the user flow at the moment is you start, obviously start on the home page and then you log in. I'm logged in here, obviously. And you type, you, you know, the, the idea is you'll be able to type a detail of your project. Um, and, or you'll be able to just like create some examples or get an example input from using AI, uh, to, you know, build, build something out. You'll be able to adjust, maybe adjust that. So there's a lot I can prove there for sure. Um, and then you can create a project plan. Still a bit to go there, but I'll show you what I've got underneath the hood here. So what you can, once you once you start off, you get a few projects started, you can click on an existing project and it will take you into an environment with a chat window here. Very, very similar to the actually, actually Lovable here, right? So Lovable has like a chat window on the side here that enables you to build. And you can select, say, a um, project. It will come up with all, the, all of your chat history for that project. And then you can select a... Uh, module here okay so really easy to jump between a whole lot of different projects like maybe you have like five or ten huge vba projects that you want to manage right like if you were to do that right now that's very very difficult you'd have to have all your worksheets open but you know may maybe there's a way that you can just have it all within this app here and you can just jump jump between them and use ai to help you generate a lot of the code right yeah you know, i mean when i was really big into vba and, and building applications i mean you had to let you had to write all this stuff out and these days, you can literally just type it out and it, will, and it will give it to you, right? So, you know, I won't, uh, I'll just voice type something in here and I'll show you what you can do. Can you create a complex procedure for me that loops through my worksheet, collects all the data in an array and does a range of filtering to break the table into four different tables? And then you paste all of those different tables that have been filtered into new worksheets that are created. Okay. So I just push send. The idea here is we'll have a chat window, which sort of determines all the things that happen. And then, uh, in theory, the code should then appear after it's generated in a new window here, like a new, a, a new box here. Yeah. Okay. So you see here, so it generated all of that code for me, nicely formatted. And then it's within this um, in this box here, and so I'm building out all of these different uh, procedures within within my module, okay. And then if I want to, the idea is that I can I have all these other automations layered on here. This is really the most eye opening thing about this AI wave, right? Is that you can layer AI on AI on AI, like qu like query after query after query. You can layer all these on together. You can mash them up together. You can build user experiences with all these in it together. Like it's, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Um, at the moment I'm still requiring sort of clicks around and stuff, but there's no reason why I couldn't just run these automatically in the background. Right. And that's kind of my intention is I want to automate a lot more, you know, one, like one here, as I click on this, this one here, 
And uh, what will happen is that this comes up with a, this goes and runs an AI query. It comes up with a description of how the actual um, procedure works, right? Formatting is not that great at the moment, but I will get there. I'm just working on a lot of the functionality first. Okay, then I have another one here, um, which is suggestions on how you can improve it, I think. So that's, I think, hitting a different model. And then this one here is if you want to modify the procedure, right? So if you if you like what's initially done and you want to just do some modifications to it, I've got another um, idea here where you can just quickly change it, right? So looking, I'm, like I'm pretty happy with that. And we have like a directory and you can come in here and you can sort of see all the different um, procedures, like all of the different procedures or functions or classes within a particular module. By the way, I'm building this all myself. Like there's no one else helping me so far on this. I will work with my developers at Enterprise DNA at some point. But um, at the moment, I've got this far myself, which is pretty insane, um, to be honest, like pretty insane. But I know it's possible now. Like I've been doing doing this for um, quite a few months, like a number of months now. And these tools are incredible. The AIs are getting even better. And I mean, you can do some incredible stuff. It is amazing, right? Um, and... There's still a long way for me to go here, right? Okay, I'm using a backend called Superbase. And if I just if I just navigate here, if I just navigate here to show you a bit of the backend, right? Like I'm, I've got all my AI, AI automations in here. I'm building quite a complex database because the biggest thing about this application that is going to be hard, the biggest thing that I haven't tackled yet is you need to work out the dependencies, right? Because like not all procedures are created in isolation. A lot of procedures reference other procedures or they reference other functions within them, right? And so we need to be able to pass all of that context to an AI uh, model before it comes back or it goes and does a query, right? These latest AI models, if you pass all of the right context, they generally will come back with something that actually works properly. Um, and, and that is correct, right? But the, the context is key. And so how we build those connections between certain procedures or, or reference certain procedures or functions within other ones, that remains the hardest thing I think I've got to figure out. But I've just been working on the, the user experience to begin with. I, I kind of like where it's at now. And now I've got to start tackling that harder stuff um, around you know, the more complex logic. But that's where I think I can add a lot of value, right? Like this is this is the AI way. This is this is how you can add a lot of value too. Is you've got this underlying knowledge that is hard to replicate. Like it's hard for someone who doesn't know VBA coding um, to to understand all of those interdependencies of different procedures and functions, right? And so these new tools can unleash a wave of um, a wave of creativity, like an absolute wave of creativity. You'll see here that I'm getting this, this stupid error, which has been driving me mad, but I'll, I'll, I'll get there in the end. I'll try and fix it soon. Okay, cool. And so this is this is one. I'm also working on another one called Power Vibes. I'm like pretty determined to try and automate a lot of uh, Power BI development as well. I think with the metadata that you can extract out of files or out of, out of Power BI now and how good the models are, you, you can automate a lot of advice and ideas and creativity around formulas, M code, visualizations, data models. You know, there there is a lot that can be that can be automated, right? And so the idea is that you put in your metadata and and you get a lot of advice and a lot of guidance. So look, there's a long way for me to go here, so I won't show too much. But these are these are two big projects that I'm working on at the moment that I think I think are going to be huge, and um, we will somehow make them available. You know, to um, to those in our orbit in some way. We're not not exactly sure how, but we're we're just learning a hell of a lot about this new wave, and want to keep showcasing to you what what what's now possible. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Look forward to next time.